sports industry is very complex. There are many different aspects that go into it. There are legal, business, and management practices. Some of these aspects can be divided into sports management structures. Some of these structures are... 1894 was when the club structure was first founded. Thoroughbred racing is an example of the club system. The first club was the Jockey Club in 1750 and it was mostly for the wealthy. Harness racing was the first national pastime and professional sport for the common person. It started to gain popularity in the 1920s. International events have also shaped the industry and the club structure was influenced and expanded by Pierre D. Cooperton. Modern clubs now include college athletics and the growth of professional sports internationally. Also, clubs are no longer just national. Leagues. This now brings us into leagues. Holbrook created the first league called the National League. In 1871, the National Association of Professional Baseball Players was established as the sport's first major league. The first team in the major league was the Cincinnati Red Stockings in 1881. Leagues organized club practices which created competition. Leagues now have strong centralized control and regulation, licensing agreements, and various TV broadcasting. Lastly, that brings us to tournaments. The first professional tournament was a golf tournament. Fred Corcoran was the father of golf. Modern tournaments are now based for entertainment, sometimes for charity, and it benefits the community. Tournaments are also not exclusive to only private clubs. The first sports manager date back to the ancient Olympic Games. Women have been overlooked in the growth of the sports industry. The first woman sports manager was Ethel Manley, who was the co-owner of the Newark Eagles in Negro Baseball League from 1935 to 1946, and the sole owner of the team from 1946 to 1948. These businesswomen have influenced sports management more than we know. Women are still unrepresented, but are growing more than before. Heidi Ubroth is the president of the International Business Operations in the NBA. The concept of studying sport management started with James G. Mason and Walter O'Malley. They established the first idea of the master program at Ohio University in 1966. St. John's University founded the undergraduate sport management program. By 1985, the NASPE indicated that there were more than 40 undergraduate programs, 32 graduate programs, and 11 at both levels offering a degree. Now sports management has evolved. The foundation laid the group effort for the scholarly organization called the NASSM, which is the North American Society of Sports Management, which promoted and encouraged the study of professional development in the area of sport management and the theoretical and applied aspect. Therefore, there are many different aspects in the sport industry that affect sports management and what it is today.